Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. What's going on, guys? Now, uh, it, was recently, it was recently reported that uh, Francis Bartholomew, the IBF lightweight champion of the world, who just beat Mickey Bay. I was there. It was in my backyard in Hollywood, Florida. Good fight. Uh, he was announced that he vacated this IBF title as expected, and he is moving up to 140. Um, no surprise to me, you know. I interviewed him for fight week during the media workouts, and he told me to my face. He said, "I plan on going up to 140 and winning my third world title, and becoming the first Cuban boxer to win the world title in three weight classes. Never been done before." Um, and you know, business wise, for Bartholomew, it makes more sense. There's bigger names at 140 as opposed to 135. You know, there's the Terrence Crawfords, there's the Victor Postles, there are, you know, Adrian... Well, no, he's at 147 now. You know, there's better fights for him, though, at 140. And not just that, he's been struggling to make the weight at 135. So why risk losing your title and losing to somebody you normally wouldn't lose to and killing yourself to make weight when you can fight bigger names at 140 for more money and, you know, just better fights overall? So he vacated the title after, after defending it one time against a... First of all, he won it from a guy in Dennis Shafikov, who... Um, the guy before... Um, Bay, uh, Bartholomew hold the title, Mickey Bay, ducked. And uh, Dennis Shafikov, you know, really tough fighter, beat him in a, in a highly competitive toe-to-toe -to -toe battle. Then, you know, against Mickey Bay, he had the uh, questionable knockdown early in the fight, but still was able to outbox him, outwork him, throw fast combinations, get on the inside... Sticking with the jab, just really make it his fight. And, um, you know, now he'll be at 140 looking for big fights. So obviously, it's not a secret. I've interviewed him on the channel twice once on Google Hangout, once and in person. I am a fan of Rance Bartholomew. I think he's a talented fighter. I think, you know, he's got a chance to do some good things in the sport. And he's still only 20, he's 29 years old. He's right in the prime of his career. So hopefully, you know, whoever he decides to step in the ring with him at 140, that's going to be a tall order to tackle. He's not somebody that's easy to beat. And whoever does take that over from him, if it does happen, you know, congratulations to him. Because Randy Bartholomew is a hell of a fighter. Um, but at 135, back to 135, now that the title is vacant, it's also been reported that um, a guy by the name of Richard Kumi, who's undefeated, he's like 22-0, he'll be fighting the uh, very entertaining Robert Easton Jr. So I'm looking forward to that. You know, ho hopefully I would love to see... Robert Easton Jr., you know, become world champion. I like Robert Easton Jr. a lot. Um, you know, very entertaining personality, a guy that uh, I feel with, with, with more promotion and, and more good wins under his belt could really be a star in boxing. Um, you know, he hasn't really beaten anybody yet, but uh, you, you, you kind of just look at his style, the way he fights, you know, cannot has good power. Hope that if that, if that can carry it to him 40, you know, that, that'll serve him well. Good power, outspoken, entertaining personality. I think a guy like Robert Easton Jr. is good for boxing. So naturally, I gravitate towards that guy. Um, and he'll be fighting for a big title. So, you know, good luck to Robert Easton Jr. Hopefully, he can come away with the title. Um, he'll be fighting Richard Kumi in his next fight. But yeah, that's the news, man. So let me know what you, got, know what you guys think. Uh, Rancis Bartholomew moving up to 140. Who are some guys at 140 you would like to see the Cuban, Cuban boxer step in the ring with? And as far as uh, Richard Robert Easter Jr., um, do you think he'll become a world champion? And if so, how soon do you think, how long do you think it'll take him to move from 135 to 140? Because he's a huge lightweight. He is not a freaking lightweight. He, he looks like a damn 47-pounder to me. But that's just, that's just how I see it. So let, let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. Take the time to subscribe. And you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Dania. So until next time, take care, guys.